In the human world, if we are born a human being, then the most important thing is to possess basic sila so that we will be true, true human beings and to have the ability to keep our mind uh, the way a human should keep it, to have a humane mentality. And although we have human intelligence, to develop special human knowledge. Shiraji has been speaking about that. And the practice of Satipatthana Bhavana, which, as the yogis are doing now, is for doing this. So, there are powers of mind. The faith that, um, faith and confidence 
regarding the mind and matter, which are really there, related as cause and effect. And having the courage to avoid what is not good to do or say, having the courage to undertake what is good to do or say. This is the most important factor in being a true human being. And then there is the preventive power of sati, which keeps the defilement from overwhelming our mind. And the ability to correct one's mind on the object, on, on what is suitable, the ability to develop knowledge stage by stage and the ability to weigh what is beneficial or not, what is suitable or not, before one undertakes something. These five qualities are called indriya in Pali. And indriya means ruling faculty. They are the abilities, the, the powers that are needed for one to control oneself, for one to master oneself. They bring about this capability for a person. And so that the yogis can develop these powers um, completely, to develop them fully, Sayadaji is helping the yogis by explaining what the Buddha taught according to the instruction of the Most Venerable Mahasi Sarah. He doesn't expect anything from the yogis. He'll be quite happy and satisfied if you all develop the abilities to master yourself. So please try. ดูเดี๋ยวอาจารย์เสียแล้วอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอ
ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็
who has this knowledge is also called Bodhi. So this is another meaning of, of Bodhi. It not only means the knowledge of the Four Noble Truths, but it also means the person, the, the one who knows the Four Noble Truths. Knowing the Four Noble Truths does not come about for nothing, doesn't come, out, come about without a cause. And so the word anga means the causes for a per- it, it, it means cause so as well as factors. So bodhi anga means the cause for a person to come to know the four noble truths. So it has this bodhanga has these two meanings: the factors of enlightenment, the factors of the knowledge which can see the four noble truths or the causes for a person to know the Four Noble Truths. So, in today's Sayadaji will explain what are these factors in terms of theory and practice. Look at my... ยายาเนี่ยคือเอาใจยาเลยคือเสียผมว่าเป็นอย่างนี้ด้วยคือเวลาที่เราเรียนรู้เรียนรู้จักเราเนี่ยสักครั้งเนี่ยอมตัวเ
anxious about achieving and then too the mind slips off the object the mind no longer is accurate so when these types of things happen the meditation teacher has to look at the yogi's situation and help them to fix it <coughs> and so that we will talk about how to how to do this today <coughs> ดูดูเสียอาทิตย์เสร็จมาพระพุทธเจ้าอาจารย์ที่ต้องสื่อสารมาอยู่ในสื่อสารสัตว์อาทิตย์เสร็จค่ะจะขาดสารมาดีนัก
And sometimes one is really um, eager to achieve in the practice, and the mind is overactive, overly eager. This is called Ati Pradhita. And this type of mind is followed by Odita, the, um, where the mind is no longer with the object, it becomes separated from the object. So it's no, the mind is no longer able to observe the object accurately with accurate aim. So what is it that the mind needs at this time? It is said, Bhojangananta, Anupavutanato. So it means that by balancing the factors of enlightenment that um, <laughs> either the factors <laughs> I'm trying to go back to what the other you say um, <laughs> that this retracted mind or the overactive mind it has to be um, corrected by bringing ab- about a balance in these bodhangas, which are the factors of the knowledge which knows in the Four Noble Truths, or the factors of a person who knows the Four Noble Truths. So this is what is said in the text. By doing this, by balancing out these factors of the bodhangas, then Vipassana knowledge is brought to, brought to completion. ที่เรียนเนี่ยพูดถึงว่าเรียนรู้ละอันนี้คืออาจจะคนละภาษาเลยคนละมีอยู่ที่ว่าเนี่ยที่ที่สังเกตเห็นว่าเขาเรียนว
There are seven dhammas which are called the Bodhisattvas. And the first is Sati Sam Bodhisattva. That is the ability to observe every arising object of kaya, vedana, sita, dhamma, body, feelings, consciousness, and other objects within those lives fields of observation, observing the arising object time and again. This is Sati Sambhojanga. And then second is Dhamma Vitya Sambhojanga, that is the quality of knowing, knowing these objects, knowing not mind and matter, knowing cause and effect. And one, there always needs to be this effort, courageous effort. This is the third Viriya Sambhojanga. Effort to develop knowledge without regard for life and limb. Courageous effort. The fourth is, um, here it started by saying Pasadi. The fourth quality is PT. When we have good noting, then uh, time and again, the noting is good, so one feels satisfaction with what one is doing, and this is PP, and following on that, uh, to that extent, there is, um, the chilesas die down, and one feels tranquil, tranquility, which is possibly, and then samadhi sambhojanga, that is, when the mind falls collectively on every arising object. And later on, then one is able to observe with a uh, this balance, with equanimity. And this is Upeka Sambhojanga. So the Buddha spoke about these. And by, by bringing these about um, in a suitable way, by balancing these factors, then one is able to develop and bring Vipassana knowledge to completion. ตัวนี้เป็นเรื่องที่เสียเอาเข้าเข้าสิ่งที่เราโยเยเราคิดว่าจะเป็นโยเยที่เสียเราคิดเลยเราไปมาสิ่งที่เราเข้าเนี่
Sometimes when doing something, um, because one hasn't gotten results yet, uh, for one reason or another, one hasn't seen the results that one wants, and what can happen is the mind backs off, it becomes slack for one, for some cause or another. And then this despicable laziness comes into the mind. At this time we need the factor of PT, joyous interest. We need to um, take a, an object that is delightful. This quality of joy will help, um, will help the mind when it feels sluggish. When the mind retracts, we need to heat it up. And the heat that we apply is the heat of mental energy, surya, as called atapa, ardent effort in the Satipatthana Sutta. Ardent effort is needed in any task. One shouldn't be sluggish or um, slow about doing something. We need to wake the mind up and make it more active. And one way to do this is to reflect on the benefits of the task that we're doing so that the mind won't be slack. The teacher also has to help with this in encouraging the yogi, pointing out what to, how to correct the problem. And when we are observing the rising and the falling, we are, we are trying to, we are doing this As we do this practice, observing the rising and falling and other objects which arise in order to come to see their true nature, we need to have constant practice for knowledge to arise. So one has to, um, when the mind is retracted, one needs the factors of enlightenment which are energizing, the factor of piti, joyous interest, or the factor of effort, virya, ardent effort, or the factor of dhamma vidya, which is um, sometimes called investigation, it's a form of knowledge. Uh, and when, with these factors, the slack mind becomes energetic and strong again. Mandam Pumas, 
ਦੋਸਾਰੇ ਪੂਰੇ ਚੁੰਨੇ ਤੱਕ ਜੀ ਗਿਆ ਲਾਇਆ ਚੁੰਨੇ ਤੱਕ ਜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਉ ਮਸਤੀ ਦਾ ਮਕਦ ਵਾਹਾਂ ਦੂਰ ਤੋਂ ਬੜਾ ਮਿਲੇ ਸੀ ਅਈ ਅਉਨੇ ਮਤੇ ਨੇ ਮਕਦ ਵਾਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਜਦ ਬੋਲ ਨੌਕਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਾ ਰਹਾ ਤੇ ਦਾ ਤੀਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਦੇ ਰੋ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਮੰਮੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਮਤਵੀਆ ਆਇਓ ਨੇ ਪੈਰੋ ਮਮ ਕਸੀ ਕਿੰਨੂੰ ਹੁਣੇ ਸੀ ਰਗਾ ਵੇ ਹਮ ਅਗਰ ਉਹ ਬਾਉਣਾ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨੂੰ ਉੱਤੇ ਲਾ ਕਿੰਨੂੰ ਦੇ ਹੋਣ ਨਾਲ ਮਕਸੂ ਸੁਰੂ ਕੀ ਨੇ ਪੱਤਾ ਦੀ ਸਮਝ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਤੁਮ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਤੁਮ ਜੋ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੋ ਇਹ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਦੀ ਨਾ ਆ ਇਹ ਰਹਾ ਵਾ ਕੀ ਨਹੀਂ 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 ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਮਨ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਿੱਧੇ ਦੀ ਮਾਇਆ ਨਾ ਕੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾਇਆ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਵਾਬ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੋਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਗੋਆ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਕੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਾ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੂੰ ਆਨੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਜਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਰਾਜਾ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਦੀ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੋ ਲਿਓ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਤੂੰ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਰਾਜਾ ਬਾਬੇ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਜੀ ਜੋ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਨਾਸੀ ਆ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਵੇ ਤੂੰ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਬੁੱਧੀ ਦੀ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਪਾਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਤਤੀ ਤਵੋ ਤੁਮਾਰੋ ਸਰਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹਾਤੀ ਵਾ ਪਾਵਾ ਰਹੀ ਤੂੰ ਮੋ ਪਾਲ ਨੂੰ ਦੀ ਵਾ ਸੁਨਿਆ ਸਾਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੀ ਯਾਦ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀ ਦੋ ਇਹ ਪੁੱਤ ਦੇ ਕਿਤ ਦੋ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਲੋੜ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੋ ਆ ਵਾ ਦੇ ਦੋ ਮਾ ਤੂੰ ਅਰ ਅੰਨੇ ਦਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਵਾਰੇ ਦੋ ਤਤੀ ਕੀ ਦੋ ਲੋੜ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਬਾਉ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਪੁੱਤ ਦੇ ਕੋ ਨਾ ਬਾਵੋ ਤੂੰ ਨੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੀ ਜੀ ਦੋ ਲੋ 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 ਕੀ ਹੈ ਅਨੀ ਨਾ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਅਰੇ ਅਨੀ ਨਾ ਕੀ ਲਾ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਾਤ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਤੂੜਾ ਕੀ ਲਾ ਰੋ ਰਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਕੀ ਦੇ ਨਾ ਰੋ ਰਾ ਬਾਬਾ when one doesn't just want the dhamma in an ordinary way but really really wants it a lot when one has a lot of panda or feel to being the dhamma then one's sriya one's effort can go a little bit too much it can become a little bit excessive and when that happens the mind can no longer stay with the object this is called ati padahita it means the mind has too much it's too much too after too uh, overly concerned so the mind becomes separated from the object and then what follows is odessa the mind becomes scattered and when odessa uh, is present then the mind cannot note anything at all it just cannot be with any type of object so if the scattered mind has arisen then one needs the factor of passivity or tranquility one needs to calm the mind with tranquility there's no need to be so um so concerned when one can just calm the mind down one has to know in a calm way in a uh, with, without using much effort and one needs to have a balanced equanimous view towards what happens one has to um have these three factors of tranquility or samadhi or upekha these are calming factors and when one when these factors are um brought into the uh, when these factors are created when these factors are boosted then the mind over energy over energetic uh, quality of the mind it will automatically reduce and the mind will be able to 
be with the object once again. So this is what is meant by um, balancing the factors of enlightenment, balancing the bojangas, or um, bringing them about in a suitable way. If the mind is retracted and lazy, then it needs to be energized with, with the factors of piti and virya and tamavitya. And if it is overactive, then it needs to be calmed with the factors of tranquility or samadhi or upeka. So sati is needed all the time. Sati is compared to the salt in food. There always needs to be some salt. Um, just it need, the salt needs to be the right amount. But without salt in food, if it's not tasty, also without sati, one can never be without sati. One has to have this all the time. And it can never be too much. So if one is able to be aware of how to um, bring the factors, the bojangas, um, boost them up when they need to be boosted, then one will be able to bring them into balance and Vipassana knowledge will arise and come to completion. ตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณฑะสัพพิติยะวะตัณ
So if, if we don't try to bring this about, if we don't make effort in the area of developing our life in this way, then it won't happen. The effort has to be made. And in doing this, we shouldn't have any fear regarding our, or regard for our body or our life. So this is another of the factors that brings, um, that helps the Indriyas to become sharp. Kāyūcā, Jīvītā, Anupakatāṁ. So this means that we shouldn't have any regard for our body when we do the practice. We shouldn't have any regard for our life. We should just um, have an attitude of dis- cruel disregard for our life and limb as we do the practice. This is how we should go about meditation. The ปุโรหะวัตถะนิยมปุโกปุอุปิเตตะโลโลเตตะมิมะโรเตตตะเตตะวินะโลมะยะนะยูสุรโลเตตะนาเรนะสุตะกูนามะโลเตตะโลเต